Uh, I, I think Dewsbury will win. I think Rochdale have shown a lot of ways to lose games this year. Yeah, I think I think Rochdale, uh, much as I'd love them to win, I just think Dewsbury will will do do it quite comfortably. Okay, League One game of the week: York versus Whitehaven. Because this is the crucial one. I mean, this is the crunch. This because because there's both sides are motivated. Yeah, so Hunslet go to Coventry on the Saturday and Oldham go to London Scholars. I expect both of those to win. I don't necessarily expect Hunslet to win by enough to get themselves above Whitehaven. So it'll be a shootout between Whitehaven and Oldham. And Whitehaven have to win this game to succeed in that shootout because Oldham have a vastly superior points difference. And you'd expect them to add to that a little bit. So... Whitehaven have to get a draw. A draw will be good enough for Whitehaven as well, in fact. Whereas York need to make sure they win this to finish top of the pile. Um, I think York will clinch it. I, I, I don't think it'll be plain sailing. Even though Whitehaven were not a full song against Coventry last weekend, I don't think it'll be plain sailing for York because of the tension on the game. But I think yeah. York will seal it in the end. I think so. I think, yeah, as we said, with you know the excellent coaching of James Ford, I think he will be able to get them over that psychological hurdle that I think other sides might might have faulted. I think they will have enough to be able to do it. Yep. Um, in the NRL, it's week four of the NRL final series. It is the real semi-finals now. Um, it's the Storm versus the Sharks Friday on t- at ten forty a.m. And the Roosters versus the Rabbitohs Saturday at 10:40 a.m. So both of those obviously will be on Sky Sports on the, either the Arena or the Action channels. Uh, do you have any favourites for these games? Um, I think it's going to end up as a Storm versus Easts final, and Ooh. everyone's going to be going, "Who do I actually like the least or Cronk's last dislike game the least?" Against Slater's last game. Gosh. That's, I mean, that's um, that's the Channel Nine build-up done the for only you time already. They played each other as well. Unless they played against each other earlier this year, I'm not sure if Slater was out injured at that stage though. Unless they've played like an All Stars yeah. game or something, that's probably the only time they would have. Yeah. yeah. Interesting that one. I'm going for the Storm and the Rabbitohs because I want the Burgesses to get to a, or the Burge I, as we have apparently been. Yeah. contractually obliged to call them to get to another grand final down under um, right that is next week pre- looked forward to it, some in great detail some in kind of a haphazard manner <laughs> um, we're now <laughs> going to wrap up the show uh, for the 199th time So Tim, you've told me you've prepared a quiz for me. Let's 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 do your quiz, uh, yep. and then see how we get along time-wise, and see if we do the quiz that I prepared for you as well. Okay, so I thought, given that obviously next week is episode 200, I'd focus on the number 200 for this quiz. So this is all stats drawn from uh, Rugby League Project. So how many players currently playing rugby league? have more than 200 appearances for your Wigan Warriors. Plumbing heck. Do I not get... Do I, I don't get like a... I don't get like a... any leeway on this. I have to pick the exact amount. <laughs> I think, yeah. Well, let, let's see how close you get. <laughs> Over 200 appearances for the Wigan Warriors. Right, so around about... around about 1,100 players have played for the Wigan Warriors. Um... I'm going to say I'm going to say that 175 of those have played more than 200 times. Oh, according to the Rugby League project though, so it won't have every game from every year. And it's remember, sorry, just going back to the question, how many players currently playing Rugby League? Oh, currently have playing Rugby to... League. Sorry, right. I didn't listen to that part of the question. I was baffled by the fact that it could be so many people right so currently playing so in the Wigan lineup, there are I would say four four or five then outside of the Wigan team it's maybe Harrison Hansen I'm going to say six 
Six is correct. However, your working is probably what needs the work. So, Sean O'Loughlin, uh, Sam Tompkins. Yeah, correct. Thomas Lulawai. Yeah, the forgotten man. Um, so I'm guessing Harrison Hansen hasn't then, because told me what you just said. He has. Oh, yeah, no, he, yeah. Har- Harrison Hansen. Michael McAlorum. No. Oh. He was under 200. Uh... I'm not sure I could get the other, the other ones. Liam Farrell. Oh yeah, of course. And the Ginger Prince. You'll kick yourself on this one, Joel Tompkins. Ah, the rectum himself. Well, I, I, I wouldn't have put him at that to be honest, because of his spell out, outside of the club. Um, okay, interesting. Is that the, was that it? Yep. So Lachlan, Luluai, Hanson, Farrell, Tompkins, Tompkins. I got the right amount, so I had some sort of sense of sense. You of, did. Yeah, yeah, okay. Brilliant. Scale. So, Ticks question amazing. question two. You've got five questions. So, question okay. two. Of those players, of six, who scored the least points for Wigan? Who has scored the least points for Wigan? Of, of those, those six. six. Harrison Hansen. Correct. With 172 points, Joel made 248. Tommy Lilloy, 261. And the Ginger Pearl the fake one 348 okay between those players question three between those players how many field goals have they scored right Lula I won't have kicked many if any oh Lachlan I can't remember him kicking a drop goal uh, I'm going to say 19 incorrect it is 10. Ah. So Sam Tompkins has scored 7. Yep. Sean O'Loughlin 2. Oh. And Tommy Luloi chipping him in 1. There you go. Fair enough. Okay, question 4. How many of Wigan's current backroom staff have more than 200 playing appearances for the Wigan club? For the Wigan club. How many of Wigan's current backroom staff have more than 200 playing appearances? Wigan. Okay, I would say Steve Hampson does. Um, Paul Johnson? I'm not sure he does. Wayne uh, Wayne didn't. I'm sure Wayne didn't play that many games for Wigan. I'm, I, I'd, I'd be, I, he might have played that many games for Leeds. <sighs> I'm going to go two, Radlinski and Hampson. Well, Hampson wasn't on the list that was on the website. Oh, uh, maybe he left the club, actually, at the end of... Maybe he left the club, so maybe he hasn't... Maybe he isn't there, but I'm still going two. So if... I've got I've got one with Radlinski oh. making 315, Sean Wayne making 149 appearances. Steve Hampson might have left the backroom staff now. I don't really keep, keep, keep on top of all the uh, ins and outs. Yeah, yeah. so question... Next year it would be two, because... It will. Cass yeah. definitely played 200 times. Anyway. Question five. How many times did the overrated winger Pat Richards score 200 points in a season? The overrated winger? Are you kidding me? Well, this is going to prove that he's not overrated, surely. I thought I'd get, an, thought I'd get another, another Mark Rant in before we close. Um, right, so his first season for Wigan was 2006. I don't think he got he was our top try scorer but he didn't have kicking duties all of that year so I don't think he got to 200 that year the year after 2007 I don't think he took over kicking duties straight away I'm going to go 8, 9, 10 not 11 because he missed half the year with a cruciate I'm going to go he did it in 5 seasons 6, 5 or 6 oh Six. I'll take your first answer of five. Oh. Because it was six. <laughs> I said six. Six was my answer. No, I have to, I have to take your first answer on that Bollocks, one. Bollocks, that was so, my answer. You haven't, there was no, like, is this your final answer opportunity, you know? <laughs> I didn't. You didn't let me lock it in either way. If I was locking in, I was locking in. I'm taking it as a win. I'm taking that as a win. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the the the, the deal between those, yeah, he has... Is it? So 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, 
2011, 2013. So he missed out in 2006, where, as you say, he didn't have the kicking duties, and 2012. Right, OK. Um, that's that's cool. Uh, I would have guessed it was 2011, not 2012. So, um, But anyway, I, I'd worked out the right answer. That's all that matters, Tim. Uh, <laughs> we'll let the people decide. Well, the people are going to decide I didn't get it right, aren't they? Let's face it, they don't annoy me. Right, I've got some for you then. Let's do yours. Um, who? Right, this is based on the news that Stuart Littler is the now the new head coach of Ireland. Obviously, he played for Ireland 19 times. And I've got some players that played with him for Ireland who are also retired from Rugby League. So who are these five players who played alongside Stuart Littler during his time as a player for Ireland? Okay. And I'm going to give you the amount of caps they got for Ireland, not necessarily in the same side as Stuart Littler, but they definitely played in a World Cup game against alongside Stuart Littler. But how many caps they got for Ireland, what position they predominantly played in, who their clubs were during their careers, and when their career lasted from. Okay? Yeah. So the first person... Made six island caps. Yeah. His predominant position was prop. His okay. career took in spells at Wigan, Hull FC and Widness, and he played between 2006 and 2017. Prop playing at Wigan, FC and Widness. Um, no, it's not him. I'll give you one final clue. He's got a very Irish name. Um, uh, no, it's not coming. Eamon O'Carroll. Ah, uh, yeah, someone you could have given me every, every clue in the world for, and I would have completely forgotten. Okay, the second one. Um, 16 caps for Ireland. Also predominantly a prop four in his career. He started his career as a youngster at Leeds Rhinos. He then went on to have a spell, I think on loan, at London, but possibly when they were still called Harlequins. And then he finished his career at Halifax. He played between 2010 and 2017. Oh. Um. Anything coming? Hang on, go through those clubs again. Leeds, Harlequins, and Halifax. The the special clue, the bonus clue on on this particular person is it's okay to talk. Oh, uh, midnight, Luke Ambler. It is Luke Ambler. Okay. The third one, this person picked up 13 caps for the island side. They get progressively more difficult, so um, good luck. Great. This yeah. player picked up 13 caps for Ireland. His position of choice was fullback. His playing career took in spells at Witness, Swinton, and best remembered for being um, fullback at Salford. He played between 2000 and 2010. Again, pretty Irish name. I was going to say Malcolm, Malcolm Olker, but it won't be him. No, he was a hooker. Uh, yeah. And a criminal. <laughs> <laughs> He said Irish, not Australian. Um, um, the special clue is he's now involved at the Warrington Wolves in a backroom capacity. Or an off field capacity, should I say? It's not John Clark. No. Again, you're very good at naming hookers, but not so good at naming hookers. fullbacks. <laughs> I don't look that far back. No, no idea. Carl Fitzpatrick. Yeah, again, another one I would have been here all night for. Uh, okay, uh, this player played nine times for Ireland. He. He's a back row forward, a mixture of second row and loose forward, but a back row forward. His club careers... Uh...